Hello traders, FS Pip Coletti here. Today is Wednesday, September 20th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on gold dollar, to me, it looks like a one, two, and a big giant wave three. It looks to me like this is a four, and I think this move down that we're currently getting is just a crutch into this move up, all part of a wave five, and I still think it's going to end up stretching out and then looking something like that to finish off this pattern. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I think this is very likely an A, this is a B, and a C. It looks like it made a crutch into this last wave up, three waves down right to a Fibonacci level and pulse to move up. Looks to me more like a pattern that's just going to keep on trending up and maybe even break out of these highs. You know, this could even end up being like a 1, 2, and 3 of wave 5. So let's take it down to that daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can see what I think is the end of a crescent right here. I think this is a pulse of up like a one. I think this is a crescent down like a two. I think we're already in a wave three and I think it's just going to continue to make higher highs, higher lows, all part of this big wave three. So let's keep going down to that four hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, I mean I have my Fibonacci retracement on here because it did go down and break structure even though it's not really holding. And we do have FOMC interest rate coming out today, I mean that is definitely going to affect gold. And I kind of think the dollar is going to go up which is probably going to make this go down. So I mean it looks to me like this is going to make a 1, probably a wave 2 and then eventually maybe next week or something go up for a big wave 3. So taking it down even more to that 1 hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, the fact that it rejected structure, I mean, that possibly could be a long right there. I mean, it is three ways down and positive up, but most likely it's going to make a bigger crutch, and I think it's going to go down to one of these lower fib levels, probably at the news today, and it's probably going to be all part of like a wave two, like I was showing on the four hour time frame, like an ABC of two, and then eventually go up for a wave three. Now we are definitely going to have to reevaluate these dollar patterns prior to the news coming out and I will be live streaming today on YouTube for the interest rate news for the dollar so definitely make sure you stop in and check out that because we will, we will have to reevaluate these patterns prior to the news coming out. So don't forget to join my free discord group the link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.